Hey guys, I'm so excited. Finally got this game. It's two o'clock in the morning, two thirty in the morning, almost three a.m. But I'm gonna go ahead and play it, and I'm gonna post it for you guys. I've been a fan of Harvest Moon since PS2. If I would've known about it, um, um, it's Super Nintendo. I would've definitely played it. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you guys. Hey, um, I forgot to mention for my thumbnail, I posted myself wearing a pink wig in honor of this girl on the back wearing a purple wig. Cause I'm weird like that and I'm super excited. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the game. Hey guys, this is going to be a Let's Play Harvest Moon Light of Hope Special Edition for PS4, and let's start from the very beginning. I'm super excited. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick the girl character, and let's name her... Let's name her Melinda. Let's pick fall because I was born in the fall. And we're gonna pick the 12th because my real birthday's on the 12th. And we're ready to go. So I'm super excited about this. Oh wow. I'm having definite flashbacks of Zelda NES because it started off in like, I re remember it starting off in the rain like this. And it looked kind of like this. Very similar to this. That's crazy. Wow. Super nostalgic. Even though it has nothing to do with this game. <laughs> it's just what I remember. I always find myself comparing new video games to stuff that I've seen in old ones. I'm so weird like that. Okay, so we're going to go through the prologue together. Oh, uh, um, well, phew, I'm glad you're finally awake. Uh, are you okay? Are you hurt anywhere? Oh, there's nothing to worry about then. You can relax. This is my home. I found you lying in front of my doorstep. Maybe you were caught in yesterday's terrible storm. The Zelda storm. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I should have introduced myself first. My name is Janine. I live on this island, and I'm training to become a herbal doctor. Nice. I'm also the lighthouse keeper. That's right. There's a magnificent lighthouse here. That's the reason why it's called Beacon Town. Um, so would it be okay if I ask your name? Melinda, I see. That's a very nice name. I thought so too, guys. Are we dancing, y'all? Okay, I guess not. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I just thought it was a little strange. You see, when I found you in front of my house, someone had already treated your wounds and covered you in a blanket. 
My guess is that somebody actually brought you here. Interesting. Huh? Wait, so you mean you think you remember who helped you? Yeah, girl. I sure do. <laughs> hmm. A girl with blue eyes and short purple hair. I don't think I know her. There aren't many people left on this island. So... I'd probably know if I'd seen her before. That's right. There are only a few of us left on the island now because of a big storm that came by several years ago. It would be nice to see the town go back to how it once was. But as I said, there aren't many people left. Wait, what? You're saying you want to live here? Of course, you're welcome to do so. I'll even show you a place where I think you might be able to live. This is reminding me of DS, one of the DS harvestmen. Um, there's a farm at the edge of town that isn't being used anymore. We can go see if that works for you. Alright. Let's go see this farm, y'all. Well, here we are. This is the farm. Uh, so... Trees. I can't complain about pink trees. I know what you're thinking. It doesn't look like a farm. And you're right. But I'm sure you'll be able to live on it once you've tilled the land. Hold on. Wait right here. Now this whole house scene is totally giving me um, Animal Crossing vibes. I'm pretty sure the people who lived here before you were using it. It has to be her somewhere. Oh, here it is. I got a hoe, y'all. And a watering can. And we got 10 cabbage seeds, y'all. You'll need to learn how to grow your own crops if you're going to live here. So I'll teach you what I know. First, you need to till the lands and make a crop field. Think of it as a preparing a fluffy bed for your crops. So, um, why not try tilling a small section of the land in this area using the hoe, ho, 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 I just gave you. Girl, we're gonna use that hoe, all right, girl. Move the crosser, sorry, move the cursor to an empty plot and press the action button. Go on, try a few. Okay, girl. We're gonna do some hoeing, y'all. Better hold that land, girl. Come on, girl. No! Oh, I didn't need to do that. Dang it. That looks like a freaking Tetris L, y'all. Good work. There's a pretty nice looking field you've made. You know, you might have a knack for this, Melinda. Moving on. Next, let's try planting the cabbage seeds I gave you earlier into the plot you just healed. Open your bag and select the seed. Then, just like before, move the cursor to the plot and press the action button. Okay. Let's do that, girl. Girl. Ooh, would you take a look at that? You did a great job planting those seeds into your plots. <laughs> it's nice seeing those seeds go back into the ground. It almost feels as if you're planting the seeds of hope. Ugh, I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to start rambling. Alright, next up, let's try watering those seeds you just planted. The watering can I gave you earlier is still empty, so you'll need to fill it with water from that well there. Are you able to fill your water can with water? Great. Now you can water those cabbage seeds you just planted. Are you ready? Just like you've been doing, move the cursor to the plot and press the action button. Okay. I think we can handle that. Very nice. Oh, and you need to water your crops once a day. If you forget to water them, they'll grow weak and eventually wither. And that pretty much sums up the basic steps on how to grow crops. Hmm, Melinda, are you okay? You still look a bit tired. You see that house over there? No one is living in it right now. So you're free to use it. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Um, I'll show you inside the house. Okay. Okay. This totally reminds me of Zelda from NES. Like, that place where you had to get like the fishing net off the bookshelf you had to like run into the bookshelf like I don't know if you guys remember that but it really totally looks like that I I tell you this place up once in a while sorry guys I just missed like a whole thing of dialogue uh, so you can use the bed in the kitchen without anything to worry about as a doctor I suggest you rest for the remainder of the day a good night's sleep will relieve you of your fatigue Alright guys, and this bed reminds me of Zelda's bed too, from the Zelda NES. I feel like it's the same color, those tables remind me of it. This all looks just like it. they just freaking took it straight from Nintendo NES because they think people forgot or something. How could anyone forget Zelda NES? I live in the house on the hill to the north of the lighthouse. If you have any questions, just come by and ask. Oh, and after a night, I think your cabbages should grow in size. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Go relax and get some rest. Alright, so we're sleeping away. I can't breathe. Whimper, please. Please. Somebody, help me. Please. Okay, Melinda runs real slow, so let's see if we can help. Hello? Is someone there? Can you please pull that weed out? I really need your help. Pull the weed with all your might. You don't need any tools for this. Uh, it's starting to hurt. Please, hurry. Help me! Okay. Hmm, that was very simple. She didn't use much might pulling that out. Thanks to whoever it was that pulled the weed out. 
that may not say what that just reminded me of. Um, but can you move that stone tablet too? Now, this really reminds me of some Animal Crossing characters. I don't remember, like, but it looks like something from Animal Crossing for sure. Phew, I'm saved. Thank you so much. I don't know who you are, but I owe you. Can you tell me your name? Melinda, baby. Melinda, got it. My name is Rowan. I'm the Harvest Sprite of Crops. All right, Sprite. Now I'm thirsty. As you can see, I'm kind of small. I got stuck under the stone tablet and I couldn't even move. It was terrible. Jeez, who put that stone tablet here? Anyway, I wish people would think about us harvest sprites. I want some sprite. Hmm, I'm not sure either. I mean, now that you mention it, I do sense something strange about it. Maybe if you ask someone smart, they might know. So, what you trying to say, Rowan? Am I not smart? There's a lady named Janine that lives to the west of your farm. Maybe she knows something about it. Oh, you know her? Then go talk to her, right away. Okay, Janine, here I come, girl. Here I come, girl. Hey. Uh... I don't even remember where she lives, or I don't know where she lives. Is this Jenny? No. I feel like this should be it. Where are you, Jenny? These paths are like a little difficult. Uh, they feel very forced. I, should, I wish I could explore a little more easily, but. Let's get some water while we're here. Is this her house? All right, all right. She lives in a broken tree, y'all. She lives in a broken tree, I think. Oh no, she don't. This is Rowan. Rowan, where'd you say Janine lives? May your vegetables grow big. Uh, Rowan, where is Janine? I can't find Janine, Rowan. I'm never gonna find Janine. Ever. Oh my goodness. saying she lives somewhere by like a lighthouse or something I don't understand oh my goodness so it's not up here that's my that's my crib right there is it down here Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't know if we're gonna find her. I hope we do. She said she lived by, is this her house? Janine, where are you, girl? I need you, girl. 
Okay guys, I'm going to stop the video here for now. I'm going to pick up on the next episode and we're going to figure out where Janine lives. Um, I'm a little bit confused right now. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll go ahead and pick up where we left off on the next episode, guys. See ya!